Hi everyone! Um, it's me, Ryan, you know, the internet's Blaze Hedgehog. Um, I had a really bad idea. How about we build a computer? Last year I opened, well, gosh, was it really last year? Sometime within the last year, I opened a Patreon, and the whole point of this Patreon was to help me save money to build a new computer. Um, all last year, I saved bits and pieces of money here and there. Well, actually, it was kind of most of my money, really. Um, I didn't spend it on almost anything else except for this new computer. Um, and sometime around November or December, I finally started putting the pieces together, and now it's kind of sat in my bedroom here waiting for me to get unbusy with all kinds of other things. Um, but yeah, uh, I suppose before we get any further, um, I should thank my Patreon supporters who helped me get this far. Logan, Brandon, Nolan, Setsune, Connor, Thomas, Tom B, Ryan M, Ryan L, I know you guys, you guys are my buds. Of course, so is, like, Nolan's a bud, Brandon's pretty cool, Logan, Logan's awesome, uh, Jack D, Keith, I know Keith, Keith is an animator, he worked on Adult Swim shows, it's cool, you're cool, uh, Christopher, Matt is my cousin, of course, and Rose is an old friend, well, so, like, whatever, you know what I mean, there's a bunch of, like, old friends and new friends and all kinds of people that support me on Patreon, and if you're watching this here at home, you should probably support me on Patreon too, unless this video turns out to be kind of a weird train wreck. I'm not actually sure how all this is going to turn out. I've never really filmed myself in front of a camera before. Uh, I've never filmed in my bedroom before. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, let's build a computer. So this bad boy, this is my old computer. Um, it was around 2007 that my cousin came to me. Um, I was on this old pre-built Sony Vio desktop. Um, he came to me and he said, hey, I've got a bunch of extra parts. If you buy the motherboard for it, you can have a brand new computer. And this is the case that came with it. Um, the motherboard that's in here is the one I bought, sort of. Um, the original motherboard I bought was defective. I didn't find out until almost two years later. So I bought a new motherboard to replace it, same model and everything. Um, but yeah, this computer right here is about 10 years old. Um, let's see, what kind of specs? Uh, originally, it was a single core 300 gigahertz uh, desktop with well, like one gigabyte of RAM, I think. Um, over the years, I slowly upgraded this system until, basically as it stands right now, this is about as fast as this computer can get. Um, it is currently a Core 2 Duo with 2 gigabytes of RAM, and um, here's the graphics card that was in it. This was a hand-me-down from a friend. You can see it's an ATI Radeon HD 6870, which I've had to read upside down, so you should be very proud of me for that. Um, this graphics card is probably defective. I won't be using this graphics card in the new build, but I will be taking some things out of this computer. Um, I want the optical drive. I want... Uh, there's a pair of hard drives in here that I want. Um, everything else is just trash. You know, I don't need the case. I don't need anything else. And that's partially because <laughs> of this. Oh, focus. There we go. This thing right here. This was my cousin trying to build a totally sweet viewing window into this case. And he totally screwed up. So this is actually a pane of glass in here. Come on, stay focused. And it's just held in place by duct tape. That's all it is. Um, this is the case, again, that I've used for 10 years. So you can imagine, I don't want to keep this case anymore. It's kind of damaged goods. Um, so I will be getting rid of it. Uh, but that's what happens when you have hand-me-down stuff, right? 
you just, you make do, and I've made do, and actually this computer served me very, very well. Um, two gigabytes of RAM in this day and age sounds like super duper tiny, but actually most of the stuff that still ran on this computer, most of the new games, um, ran actually pretty well. Uh, but yeah, we're sending this guy off. Uh, he served me very well over the years, but it is time for bigger and better things. Um, speaking of bigger and better things, ugh, here, let me get down here. <laughs> Hi. Um, I suppose I should like say why exactly I'm just like upgrading now as opposed to a month from now, and that's because. That computer there that I just moved off camera, um, I think either the power supply or the motherboard went. Uh, it keeps rebooting every... It started every 10 minutes, and then it was like every 2 minutes and every 30 seconds. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it, but it doesn't matter because I have all new stuff right here, which is what we're going to go through. And oh, why won't this stay focused? <laughs> uh, we're going to go through all the new stuff right now. Okay. What we're going to start with now, the new computer, is this. This is the motherboard. It is an AS Rock Z97 Extreme 6. Um, let me check. This cost me $140 from Newegg. Um, basically what I do when I go shopping for electronics uh, components on Newegg is I just go into the section, I rate them by highest rating, and I look for something in my price range, and that's basically it. Uh, this was on sale, I think right before Black Friday, and I thought, okay, well, it's on sale, it's a little bit early, I didn't want to buy it right away, but I went for it, you know? It was on sale. This was an editor's choice pick for um, Tom's Hardware, I think. Yeah, it actually says right here, 2014 Smart Buy, Tom's Hardware, the authority on tech. It's not the most highest range, top of the line, cool thing that you can think of, but it is probably really good. Um, you'll notice like a trend in the stuff I'm buying. None of it is super top of the line, really nice stuff, but it is... It'll, it'll get me through a few years here, and that's basically what I'm hoping for. Next, we have... Where did I put it? A processor. An Intel Core i5. Again, not super top of the line, but it did set me back $240. So it's not... not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. I don't like spending money. So the fact that I spent, well, we'll get to the final tally when I go through all the new stuff, but I ended up spending an excessively large amount of money on all this stuff, and that terrifies me. Um, next up, we have the memory. And now this is probably the most important part. Um, this is G-Skill Rip Jaws. Uh, these are two sticks of 8 gigabytes of RAM. So, all told, my new system will have 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is actually above the norm right now. Um, I'd assume most of you out there, if you're casual PC gaming fans, probably only have 4 or 8 gigabytes. Um, 16 is probably what some of you will be upgrading to later this year or maybe next year. Um, my ultimate plan originally was to have 32 gigabytes of RAM in this system, which is why these are two sticks of eight, because I still, I'll still have two empty slots in the new computer where I can put two more sticks of eight, bringing me up to a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I don't, like, this probably isn't, like, super important for gaming right now, which is, I don't know why you probably aren't running on 16 gigs right now if you're watching this, but I do video editing, so 16 gigabytes is important, and 32 gigabytes will be beautiful, it'll be impressive, it'll be what I want. So, you know, this is, this is good RAM right here. This cost me $91, yes, $90 is what I have written on my tablet here. 
This is the graphics card. No, it's not a GeForce GTX 760. Um, again, save money where you can, folks. Uh, this is a hand-me-down graphics card from a friend who presumably just upgraded to the 760. Um, instead, the graphics card he gave me was the Radeon HD 6970 which is the next model up from the graphics card I was using. Hopefully, um, I don't know if I covered it before, but the graphics card I was using on my desktop previously, uh, when the friend sent it to me, he said it was a little bit wonky, he was worried it was dying. Um, it might have been dying, because uh, it was acting a little funny for me too. Hopefully this one's a lot more stable. Um, I know AMD, ATI, whatever. Their drivers are a little bit weird. Uh, people don't really like them as much as NVIDIA these days. Um, we'll find out. I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth. And then there's this. This is just, whoops. This is just a hard drive, 500 gigabytes. I wasn't doing, going crazy. This is just where Windows will live. I know people will say that I need to buy an SSD now, and I'm not gonna argue with that. I probably do need an SSD at this point. But for now, just a regular old blank 500 gigabyte hard drive is where Windows is going to live for now. This is probably the next most expensive thing to the processor. This is obviously an Elgato HD60 Pro. Um, it, this is an internal card. This isn't the USB cards that they usually sell. This is the real deal. Um, probably the nice vid nicest video capture hardware you can buy right now. Um, I'm very proud of it. I'm very excited to try it out. Uh, hopefully it'll work. Um, the system requirements on this thing are a little steep. Um, where does it list them? It says a second generation Core i5 or better. Um, I think that processor I have over here is a second generation Core i5. Um, I think this is Devil's Canyon, whatever that means. I don't know, I probably should have looked it up before I bought it. <laughs> Too late now! <laughs> this, all this stuff, if any of it's broken, I can't take it back. Oh, why are power supplies so heavy? Oh, an EG, EVGA, 750 watt G2 gold power supply. This was $110. Um, this is probably overkill for what I'm building. <laughs> for my last power supply, which was an Earthwatts 650 watt power supply, that ran me about $90. So I just went to Newegg and I said, okay, $90 to $100, that's exactly what I want to spend. Find me the nicest power supply for $90 to $100. And that was this bad boy. Um, the case doesn't really count towards some of this because it was a Christmas present. A friend of mine knew I was building this computer, uh, Setsune actually, if you remember from the Patreon section earlier. Um, this is going to be too big to show on camera. Yeah, that is just, that is ridiculous. I'd have to move the camera back and everything else. Um, but this Source 10, well, Source 210 Elite. Um, was, I don't remember how much it was, but I didn't have the money for it at the time. I was like $10 short on putting this all together. And for Christmas, he just decided to order it for me. Um, this is probably a pretty good case. It is a big case. It is a heavy case. Uh, this is also the case my cousin uses for his desktop where he lives right now. Um... But this was, uh, I don't remember if I said how much it was. I don't actually remember how much it was now. And it's been so long that the prices have changed. But I think this was $50 to $90 for this. So the grand total for the brand new computer, which was the power supply, the processor, the RAM, the motherboard, the case, the hard drive, and the capture card, which... If you're building a computer at home, you can subtract $200 from this because I don't think you're going to need a capture card. But grand total for me was, well, 
If you don't count the case as part of the deal, I spent $955 on my stuff, uh, which is a lot. Um, that is an uncomfortable amount of money. Uh, that was from saving... I mean, I guess technically I started building this computer um, probably a lot earlier last year, probably somewhere around January 2015. Uh, not pictured is the 2 terabyte hard drive that I bought last year to put all my Steam games on. Um, that was, that was $125, so that counts towards all of this. Um, so I guess it's technically a power supply RAM, two hard drives, a processor, a motherboard, the capture card, and the case. Without the case, all that comes to $955. If you count the case in with all of this stuff, that's somewhere between $1,000 and $1,045. Uh... So yeah, a lot of money was spent on this and a lot of saving took place. This was money I make from my YouTube channel. This was Patreon. This was any money I could scrounge together along the periphery. Like I went to my brother's wedding last year and ended up getting some money there. And that ended up, some of it factored into this. So, a lot of saving, a lot of sweating, a lot of pinching, but we're finally, finally ready to build this monster. So here's the inside of this computer. Um, I guess we'll just start with the hard drives. I don't know about you guys, but opening a computer makes me really nervous. Like, I don't sweat when I'm nervous, but when it comes to doing computer maintenance inside of a computer, I get really nervous. I get really sweaty. What are you calling on? And like it's probably doubly stressful because right now I have at least, I'll assume, 100 people watching me do this and scrutinizing every single move I make. So if I do something wrong, I'm going to get yelled at. And that's not very fun. Okay, now we take the optical drive out. Oh, there are a lot of screws holding this bad boy in. Huh. I should just buy a new, uh, optical drive, but maybe that'll be something I buy uh, in a month or two. Okay, so old hard drives out, old optical drive out. This case is now junk. I can just throw it away. And by throw it away, I mean it'll probably sit down here in my bedroom for the next nine months. Uh, okay, so... Huh. Oh, hmm, where do we start? <laughs> <laughs> Truth be told, I've never built a computer before. Um, last time, to my old computer, the one we just took apart, uh, my cousin came over and did most of the work for me. I think I might have changed out the motherboard myself when I replaced it in 2010. But I'm not actually sure about that. Because 2010 was a long time ago. Come on. Whoops. Let's open up both sides of this cardboard box. And then we'll just push it out like a baby. 
<laughs> Big computer baby. Look at that. Oh, this is a giant box. I forgot that he got me the white one. Um, something I'm not entirely super hot on, on this case, is that the USB ports are up here on the very top of the system. Um, I'm not like a super big fan of that, but I, I also kind of didn't really have a choice. Uh, I think this was the best case in my price range again. Um, the next step up was something like $250 to $300, and I'm not spending $300 on a computer case. Like, let's be, let's be honest here. Let's be realistic. Oh, wow. <laughs> the screws on the back of this thing are just little twisties. I don't need a screwdriver for it. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Look at what a nice organized inside of a computer this is. Oh, and it looks like it has cable ties and everything. Neat. It's got all these nifty... It didn't come with any instructions, so I don't actually know what these plastic things are. I guess... Oh. Oh! <laughs> No need for screw. Oh yeah, I think this was. I think this is what they call a toolless design, which means you don't need any screws or anything if you don't want to use them. Um, what is this? I assume this is probably for the fan. Oh, there's the instructions and a bunch of screws. Here, let's read what the instructions say. Always read the instructions, kids. I don't care what anyone thinks, I don't care what anyone says. Always read the instructions. This is kind of like bad instructions, because it's a, just a bunch of pictographs. Power supply goes on the bottom of the system, that's different. So it would be down here, which it would be down here. Not Normally I'm used to it being up here towards the top. But I guess because heat rises, it will rise towards the top of the system and blow out like that. So that makes sense to me. Hmm. Since I could remove the bottom plate down here, the this part right here, this metal part, what I could do is I could put the motherboard together, then take this panel out, the, this panel, this panel, screw it onto there, put the panel back up inside the computer, and then put the power supply down here. Um, that'd be weird, but I think that would probably be the smartest way to do this. I guess what I'll do is I'll spin around in a circle first. And then, I'll put the cover back on. Okie dokie. My new egg packing list out of here. Booklets and CDs, which we don't need yet. Panels, which we don't need yet. Molex, which we don't need yet. More. Oh, this is a SATA cable. That's nice. What is this? I don't know what this is. Like, I'm like, look at this. What is this? I don't know what this is. I'll open it up and find out in a minute. Ooh, look at that pretty motherboard. It's all technological. Ooh. Don't want to bend anything. But I guess it makes sense. It would be in this cool little foam tray. It's one cable tie. Two cable ties. 
three cable ties, and four cable ties. Ta-da! Okay, set this down very gently. So I guess I'll put the processor in and then the graphics card? No. Put the processor and the RAM in, put this in the case, and then put everything else in it. Ah. And this, this is the processor. It's a tiny little chip. Now, how do I open you up like that? Whoo! Crunch. That's it, huh? I always forget how easy it is to put a new processor in. It always feels like the most dangerous thing in the universe, and it kind of is. But it's not that dangerous. Here. So it's like... This, I guess? Right? Here, I gotta double check. Just real super quick. In my case, that would be, yeah, that's right. Well, that is correct. And then I just latch it closed. Simple. <gasps> Boy, I don't like this. I don't like this. <sighs> that is the scariest thing in the world. I know I just said that it was easy, but boy, it wasn't. Please save and replace the cover if the processor is removed. Is there a plastic cover I need to take off? There is. Yeah, it actually shows in the diagram. Take the plastic cover off, you moron. Yeah, that. Ta-da! Not for this dumb thing. So how much do you want to bet? But I'm going to break the plastic legs on this. Because that's what you do with these dumb things. These are about as cheap as they come. And last time I messed with my processor, I broke the legs off on one. And I had to buy a new cooling fan. I was not a happy boy that day. Okay, i got to put some goo on the top of the thing. And I don't think it gives me goo. Does it? Well, I have some goo. It came from a friend. I don't know if I should use it. Ah! Or I could go upstairs and get my goo. Because I have more goo of my own. Okay. Cooling fan grease. Right? Thermal compound? I don't remember which one is the right one. Because I bought one, which I think is this one. And I think this one came with the cooler, the cooling fan I bought like a couple years ago. I don't think I used... Wah! I dropped it. I made a Wario noise. <laughs> High density polysynthetic silver thermal compound. I think this is the stuff I spent like a dollar and a half on. Ugh. I'll use it. Never quite sure how much needs to go on. That's probably enough. In fact, that's probably too much. <laughs> Probably a huge moron. 
That's the thing. I don't know the orientation that this is going to go in, in the thing. Right here, that's a four connector, and I need a four connector. So, like that, I guess. Of course, if it was clipped over here, because like if it goes like this, then the cable's going to be all over the weird place, right? I'll just do it like this. I really don't like the sounds this thing makes. Push. Lock. Push. And lock. Push and lock. Last one. Why oh, is this scary? Push and lock. Okay. In business. Time for the RAM. Oh, connect the power, of course. <laughs> Connecting the power is very important. You don't want to turn this thing on and not have your processor be getting air. <laughs> that would be uh, slightly a disaster, let's say. You'd have literally seconds before your computer blew up. That's what I've read, anyway. Let's ram it up, as they say. Nobody actually says that. That's something I just made up. Slot numero. Is that, is that just it? Is it in? Do I have to push any harder than that? Yes, I do. Because of course I do. It's a computer. What am I doing? Get in there. Come on. Wiggle it in. Wiggle it in. You're not wiggling in. Oh, because I'm putting you in backwards. That's why. Ta -da. Oh, and yeah. Okay. The snap in is the little pin snapping in place. See, this stuff's easy. Where's the booklet? So I guess there are connectors inside the case that go on this thing right here, which is the hard drive activity light, the system power light, the reset switch, etc., etc., etc. This is a nightmare. This is the kind of stuff I didn't want to deal with, quite frankly. Um, because I don't like messing with, you know, jumpers and things like that. Even though I just said these are not jumpers, but... Oh, wow. Power and reset buttons on the motherboard itself. That's interesting. USB 3. I think... I'm ready to put this in the case. Okay, so what I need to do, apparently, is put these, these little tiny, I don't know how well you can see them, and these little, like, feet almost, and they go underneath the motherboard. And they hold the motherboard up so they don't touch the metal part of the case here, and then I screw in to the little feet. That's what this is saying. Probably. Oh, 
Wow, there's a button on this for clearing the memory, the CMOS memory? That sounds dangerous. Huh. And these weird rubber feet that I don't understand. I don't know what those are for. And the manual doesn't tell me what they're for. Right? These would presumably like go like this. Right? But maybe? I don't know. It doesn't tell me. How mysterious. If they don't go on the bottom of the computer, the computer already has feet. Or the case, I should say. What does the stupid diagram say? Standoff wrench? What is a standoff wrench? I don't get it. What was I even doing? Oh, putting the motherboard back in. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. That's part of what makes it so scary. Am I lined up? No. I think these are going to be a real joy. Right, right. And the rest should all line up just fine now. Because I got the hardest one in there. Running out of screws, or running out of holes to screw into. Now for the actual hardest one, up here in the corner, where I can't actually see very well, and I'm touching a capacitor. You're not supposed to do that. How else am I supposed to get this dumb thing in here? Okay, motherboard's in. Easy. Um, what's next? A graphics card? Oh, actually, if the power supply is going down here, then I should put in the power supply next. There we go. Oh, wow, what? What is this? There's like, it comes with like a fanny pack? EVJ, you're weird. You know that? Look at all this Molex. <laughs> Look at this. Look how ridiculous this is. It's a nice power supply, though. Okay, which direction is up? Wait, this spits heat out through the bottom of the system? Ugh. Oh, wait, no, that's... It collects air from the bottom of the system. That's still not great. That means I'm going to have to, like, move the case every now and then when I dust. Because I need to dust under the case. No easier way to tell that I put the motherboard in correctly than to stand the computer up. Ta -da, well, you guys are just going to have to look at that for a little while while I get these screws in. Okay, that's the power supply in. Squeeze these little rubber feet under there just in case. I don't know what they're for, but now they're for that. 
Okay, power supply is in, processor is in, RAM is in. Uh, I think the only thing left is the graphics card. Oh, and the hard drives, of course. Oh, I have to install the Molex. So I should actually do that before put anything else in. Wow, look at all these cool Molex connectors on the back. Well, my last uh, power supply was this one giant snake that came out. It wasn't all these, like, there's like 15 connectors on the back of that power supply. Where does you even plug in? Um, when we, in 2007, when we bought my last computer, he was hooking everything up, and we went to hit the power switch, and nothing happened. We couldn't figure out what was wrong. We forgot to plug the power into the motherboard. Is that it? Or is this down here? That's weird. I don't understand this. Oh, that's because I'm doing it in the wrong way. Duh. You plug in there. You plug in there. Get in there nice and tight. And you, fine gentleman. Which direction do you go in? I'm guessing because you have the tooth over here, you go in like so. Be very gentle. Is that in? Is it in? I didn't hear it click, but it's going to be in. USB 3.0 header. That sounds correct to me. You don't want to bend any of these pins. Otherwise, you are in deep doo-doo butter. Okay. There's a USB port inside the motherboard? That's weird. But where is this mysterious thing? Is that it? The panel? I guess so. I'm gonna take this out first because it's in the way. Okay, plus first, then minus. And then what? You may configure the way to turn off your system using the power switch. Oh, gee, thanks. So, hard drive light. So, those two. What? Oh my gosh. What if I blow this system up? Because I didn't plug the ground in properly. Which, what does the arrow mean? Does the arrow mean the ground or does the... I'm looking this up on the internet. Are you kidding me? I think it comes up with the one I need. If there is a triangle on the connector, that is an indicator for the positive lead. A positive goes first. Arrow goes first. Oh, you're such a pain in the butt to plug in. These tiny, tiny little plugs. Gosh, I've been out this for hours. Good news is, if you're seeing this video, that might mean I put everything together correctly because I'm probably gonna have to edit this on the computer I'm building. <laughs> uh. Oh, crap. Okay, sir. 
You are ready to be inserted now. Assuming you can get around this giant monster Molex cable. Oh great, we have a Miller down here. <sighs> Crap. That's not good. Millers bring dust. Dust is the enemy of computers. I think I'm gonna have to deal with him. Make sure he doesn't land inside the computer or anything. Look, there's a brighter light out here. Hey, that's it. Go fluttering out of here. Idiot. Ah, it's scary! So... Goodness goshness. It's going to be a pain in the booty to plug in down there. Yeah, I still need to figure out where you go, Mr. USB. I think you're the front USB plug. Which means you go down here somewhere between the graphics card and the whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Good golly! I should have put you in before I put the graphics card in. Cause holy crap! I don't think I can actually get my fingers down in here. I can just get it. Okay, now I can just push it in. Hopefully that's fine. Cables are covering the weird, mysterious internal USB port, but who cares? I don't think I'm going to be using the weird internal USB port. He said, famous last words. What is that other mysterious port? I don't know. I'd have to check the thing. I don't think it's important, though. Um, before we go any further, See if I can find the chassis fan stuff. Don't tell me it goes down in this awful, awful nest of garbage. Chassis fan 2. Great. Well, I don't have enough room to stretch all the way down there. Great. How are you guys doing? I am getting emotionally exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Three plugs go in there. Four plugs go in here. Well, six and eight, technically. But it is two rows of three and four is where I'm getting that. Now it is time for hard disks. I'm very interested in seeing how these hard disks fit in here. Windows will go the very top. My DVD drive will go at the very top too, because a pro tip I learned many years ago is that you're supposed to space out your drives because they heat up when they get in, they get used. So by spacing them out properly, oh well, no, I'm gonna move these down one because it's the um the weird USB three cable is getting in the way. Okay, weirdo clip. Let's see if you do your job. I don't think you're doing your job. Is the clip just for one that's not in use, I guess? Because it's not, it won't, there's no room otherwise. I think it's just when there's not a hard drive in there. Well, that's dumb then. Because this is supposed to be like a keyless system, or a screwless system, I should say. Not keyless.
my old computer, I was worried that I put in a screw, uh, unstraight, crooked, yeah, unstraight, that's, that's where my brain is at right now, I'm unstraight. But I was worried on my old computer that I put in a screw all crooked, had to really wrench to get it out. Okay, hard drive is in. Time to put in the optical drive. Some people say you don't need burners anymore. I say those people are crazy. I have so much stuff backed up to DVD. Is that just it? Brother, I tell you what. This toolless stuff is weird. Like that. Well. Well. I'm just crazy. SATA cables. I need SATA cables. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Plug. Okay, what are you? You are the 500 gigabyte Seagate. Seagate. You, Mr. Man, are my 2 terabyte beast. We'll go all the way down here. Give the other guy plenty of breathing room. Also, because you avoid like 90% of the cables and things down here. So you are a lot easier to get in and get out. In theory. <laughs> you avoid all the cables as I have to unplug literally everything in this entire system just to get this hard drive in down here. Now I'm going to try this again. Let's see if I need the screws or not. I don't. I am crazy. So I'm going to take the screws out of this, because I don't actually need them. Hmm. I don't like that those connectors are plastic. I think they're going to rot away eventually. Well, that's what they make screws for. Oh, oh! The capture card! Okay. Whoops, I need to unscrew that. Where's my screwer? A little screw boy. That's what you call this thing. It's a screw boy. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm not actually a doctor. I may have told a fib. I'm sure that in time you will learn to forgive me. That is tightening, right? Maybe? Now oh, this is thrilling television. You guys can't even see this. Oh. Right here. That went in there easy. Hopefully with this Elgato, I'll be able to stream and stuff a lot more and a lot easier and kinds of other fun stuff. Now, I guess I just close up this monster. Make sure nothing is touching. Well, it's easier said than done, but 
again, flashing back to 10 years ago almost, when my, me and my cousin built my original computer. We had a cable touching this fan in here. First time we turned the computer on. <laughs> you ever put a playing card in a bicycle spoke? That's what it sounded like. This We pulled the power as fast as we could. Had a good laugh. Well, that's it. I mean, I'm gonna have to pull the table back. There she is, all put together. That's the back. Now, it's time to plug her in, Let's see if she boots. Okay, here we are back up at my computer desk. You probably can't hear me because the microphone's behind me, but uh, I'm gonna try pushing the power. I'm going to try pushing the power button and we'll see what happens. Nothing happened. Now what? Wonder if it's the front panel buttons that are busted. Maybe I plugged them in wrong. Wait a minute. this again. Maybe this motherboard doesn't have beep codes. I'm not sure. Huh? Hey! Yee! <laughs> oh. So yeah, that's probably what the problem was. Not only did I have the um, the front panel hooked up incorrectly, but I also had it plugged into the wrong monitor port. Look at that! It's the Windows 10 logo! I'm doing it! I'm looking at the wrong screen. I'm looking at the, the laptop down here, not at the your eyes. Anyway, I'm going to install Windows, and I'll see you guys after a jump cut, I guess, or something, I don't know. Uh.
Whatever. We'll find out in a minute. Um, so hi everyone. Uh, this is probably looking a little bit weird because um, with the way I had to position the camera and to, you know to get the computer in the shot and everything, I kind of have to be leaning over on my desk here a little bit. It's been about two weeks since I built this thing. Um, I think I might have said earlier that I had to go house sit for my cousin for about a week. And then once I came home, I could finally, you know, use the new computer here which that was probably about one week ago today. So I've had it about two weeks. Um, it was kind of hard to get Windows 10 on this, but I figured it out. Um, but yeah, so I guess this is kind of like the, the wrap up portion of this video. Um, I just, I want to, I want to say thank you again to my Patreon supporters. Um, without them, this, wouldn't be possible. I think I said this before, probably this exact same speech, but it bears repeating because this is a magnificent machine. <laughs> um, it's like I've said before, it's not completely top of the line. Um, it's, it's pretty good though. I think it's, it's up there. It's, it's so much better than what I had that it is constantly constantly blowing my mind away. You'll see behind me here, um, this is the Unleashed Project, a mod for Sonic Generations. Uh, you, if you've like paid attention to my channel at all, you probably know what this is. Um, this was recorded using the new computer, and we'll have a comparison after my little ramble here um, about how it used to run versus how it runs now. But to, needless to say, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Um, I should just, I should shout out all my Patreon supporters again. Uh, Logan, Brandon, Nolan, Setsune, Connor, Thomas, Tom B, uh, both Ryans, uh, M and L, uh, Jack D, Keith, Christopher, Matt, and Rose. Um, without you guys, this, I, that's like the third time I've said this, this wouldn't be possible. And that is, my gratitude knows no bounds. Yeah, I was actually thinking about how long it took me to build this computer here. Um, it's been over a year. Uh, I guess the very first piece of computer hardware, I might have mentioned this uh, before in the previous footage you've seen, the footage from two weeks ago now. Uh, the very first thing I bought for this was a hard drive, a two terabyte hard drive. I actually looked up the date of when I bought that. I bought that hard drive in March of 2015, which means I was probably saving up for it since January or February of 2015, and it is now June of 2016. So this computer has been a year and a half coming. And if you really like wanted to get like super anal retentive about this, this monitor right here, I think this was my very first purchase with Patreon, period. Um, I was using an old CRT monitor, um, like a 19-inch uh, 4x3 monitor that I ran stuff at like 800 by 600 on, um, and that eventually, like, actually literally exploded, so I had to buy this to replace it, um, and that was whenever I opened my Patreon, so like 24? 14? I don't know, we just passed one year on the Patreon. But, was that Patreon? I, you know, I'm not actually sure if that was Patreon or not, but this monitor was the first thing I bought, technically, that was part of this whole new setup that you're looking at right now. And that was in... had to be 2013, at least. Um, so yeah, computer, long time coming, been saving up for it forever. And it's still not done. Um, the Elgato I put in this uh, only takes HDMI. It doesn't take a uh, component or anything, so I need to buy converters and cables for that, um, which is like another 50 to to $100, which, you know, and also my old scanner, um, I was going to actually bring it out here so you guys could see my scanner. Um, I've been using the same flatbed scanner since 1999. 
um, and obviously there are not drivers for Windows 10 for that scanner. I think the last version of those drivers was released in like 2003, so I need a new scanner. All the, you know, all the artwork I've been producing for my videos, uh, for shirts and everything else, uh, that's going to be considerably harder to do on Windows 10 until I buy a new scanner. But you know, those are that's just Windows 10 growing pains. I was on Windows XP for so long. I mean, Windows XP was released in 2001, 2001. Um, so, you know, obviously moving to Windows 10, there's going to be some growing pains. I'm also a little worried uh, about this desktop. Um, I think everything inside of it is fine, but I am worried about the graphics card. Um, it is a hand-me-down. It's a very, very nice graphics card. Um, when it was brand new, it was like $450, I think I looked it up. Um, but it is a hand-me-down, and I have been noticing some oddities here and there. Uh, I was watching an E3 stream for Twitch the other day that got a little weird with some graphical problems. Um, Doom, the new Doom, they released a demo of that for E3. That has some weird graphical glitches I've noticed. Um, I hope the graphics card isn't dying, but I will probably need to buy a new graphics card for this computer at some point in the future. Uh, likely before I upgrade anything else, because, you know, I'm set on RAM, uh, the processor is top of the line, you know. I was actually checking some recent Steam games, and, you know, I kind of meet the recommended requirements. Not the minimum, which I've, you know, I've been thinking, oh, you know, this is going to be a mid-range PC. Uh, I don't think it's really a mid-range PC. I think it's, it's better than mid-range, but it's not, like, the hottest of the hot stuff on the block. But, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, I think that's it. That's all my notes say. Um, once again, <laughs> thank you all very much for supporting me throughout the year, I guess it's been. It's been a little over a year. If you want to support me on Patreon to help further improvements like this, so my YouTube channel is better, so the games I produce, because, you know, I'm a game developer, to make those better. Um, just, it's quality of life improvements for me all around. I mean, better stuff for you guys. So you should go to patreon.com slash blaze hedgehog it should be written on the screen right 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 about here um and you should go there and just like like, like a dollar just a dollar um if you pledge two dollars you whoa i don't know if the camera picked that up but i just spit all across my laptop <laughs> um but if you go to my patreon one dollar will get you in that gets you the monthly patreon podcast um, that gets you a bunch of other, like, most of the stuff. But if you bump it up to $2, then you get, like, a bunch of, like, few other, like, exclusive, um, higher tier things. And then, of course, if you go up from there, there's art commissions and a few other things. Um, but even just, like, $1, if I got $1 from everyone who subscribes to me on YouTube, I would, I would be set for life, basically. And it's just $1. I mean, you have a dollar, right? Um, and also, if you'd like to buy shirts like this one, um, I have a bunch of shirts on my Redbubble store, which is where a bunch of my artwork lives. You can get prints, you can get uh, mugs. I need to buy a mug, actually. I made a really nice mug that says World's Best Fanboy on it. I want that mug. Um, I want, like, my... I made a... Like, you know, the 5.0 face from GamePro, the little, like, wow, that guy? I made a shirt of him. Um, I want to buy buy that shirt, but... Um, that, that has to wait because my bank account is currently zero. Um, so that's going to have to wait another month at least. Um, but if you want to buy my shirts, buy my mugs, buy my, uh, book bags, pillows, things like that, go to bltn.net slash shirts. And I don't know, is that, it's, it's, it's like that, right? I don't, it, it'll be on, again, it'll be down here. You should know what to do. Um... I think that's about it. Uh, all that's left is the comparison footage between how games on my old computer used to run and how games on my new computer run right now, which is a very nice. Um, thank you all again for supporting me, and I hope to see more of you support me in the future. Um, it's, it's a crazy thing, the internet, in 2016. And it's only going to get crazier. Um, so, without further ado, 
Uh, here's the new computer, the comparison video.